Hello, my first grade friends, and welcome to computer class. This is the week of March 29th to April 2nd. So we are jumping into the month of April in this lesson. And in this lesson, boys and girls, we are gonna do two things. One is more practicing with our keyboarding, hovering those hands just above the keyboard. And the second thing is we're gonna start using 10 frames to play some logic games this week. So let me share my screen with you and we can get started. Remember, you're going to go to your classroom teacher's Google Classroom and look on the left where it says all topics, find the computer icon, the little picture of the computer, and that's what you will click. Slide number one looks like this. It says grade one computer lesson, week of March 29 to April 2. The little video recorder is what you're clicking on to watch me talk to you. That's a really important step, boys and girls. That's why it's on slide one. You need to listen to know what it is you're supposed to be doing for computer class this week. And over here in the corner, you can see I have a little picture of a 10 frame, in case you didn't know what that was. It is a um, frame of 10 squares and you use disks or counters to help you um, figure out different things when you're adding and subtracting numbers. Slide number two is your I can slide. Number one, I can hover. Hover meaning keeping your hands just above the keyboard and getting both hands right and left ready to tap. I can use my logical thinking and listening to play some 10 frames games and answer some questions on slide number six and number seven because this is a turn in week boys and girls. So on slide three, you're gonna get that hovering hands ready to go. You're gonna do two rounds for six minutes. Again, the countdown timer will keep track for you. All you need to do is look at your score. And when you are done, I would like you to type your score in this box right here that I just created for you. This is a text box. Um, I will put a little gray square there for you as well so that you can remember that that's where you're putting your um, your score. So I would like you to put your score inside that box. So look at your score at the end of either round one or round two and type in the number right there. Okay, so that's job number one. On the fourth slide, it's going to give you a little set of directions. And it says, in order to use your logical thinking skills, you often have to be a good listener. You have to listen for clues and plan out your strategies. Today, you're going to play five games and they're all connected to each other. And you're going to try to finish five or six turns for each game. And when you finish, you're gonna answer the questions about those games on slide six and seven. And slide number eight is just a reminder on how to turn in, okay? So let's check out the game. Here is a picture of the game. You're simply going to click on the picture and you will see the link at the bottom. It says 10 frame. <clears throat> it is loading down here at the bottom. And you might have to scroll boys and girls a little bit with either your mouse or your trackpad or the arrow keys on your keyboard um, to get the screen to move down. That's called scrolling, remember when you do that because you're gonna need to see the whole game, okay? This will um, talk out loud to you. So if you don't know how to read or you can't read some of the how words. How many squares are empty? You don't even have to click. You just point your mouse over the words, watch. How many squares are empty? And they'll read it to you. Now, in the first game, it's called- Build, how, game, how many? Games. It's called how many. And it says how many squares are empty. So how many? Count the empty squares. Okay, so I'm gonna shut that sound off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I tap the eight. If I get it right, I get a point. If I do something wrong, I hear an oops. Try again. So the way to look at a 10 frame, boys and girls, is that it's a stack of five and five. And we know that five plus five make 10, right? So right away, I know that if I look at that, I see one red circle. So there must be nine empties. How many squares are empty? Now the whole thing is empty. So I don't see that I have a 10, but I can make a 10 with my computer, just like I do with a pencil. I can say one, zero. How many squares are empty? And now I've got another nine. How many squares are empty? 
This time I have an eight. How many circles are there? Now be careful because this time she changed it and she said, how many circles are there? So sometimes you're counting the squares, sometimes you're counting the circles. Once you get to five or six boys and girls, you can try the next game. You can hit number two, it's called build. And you can also change your icons up here, boys and girls, these little pictures. So if you wanna play with stars or ladybugs or apples, I think I'll play with apples. So up here, I'm gonna put my mouse on top. I don't have to click, but just point at it. It says to move two apples, dragging it, holding on and dragging. And then I'm gonna say I'm done. I get my point. Okay, so you're gonna drag apples to the frame. This time it says to move 10 apples. And notice that I have a five here. I can click five plus five makes 10. Don't forget to press done and then I'll get my point, okay? So that's your build section, boys and girls. The third game is called fill. And in this game, it's gonna ask you to fill in more apples to fill the entire 10 frame. So the first thing you wanna look at is your white squares. How many do you have here? One, two, three. So I need to drag one, two, three, if it's the right answer, I'm going to hit three and I get my point. So I can see right here, I have the five at the bottom. I can just drag five and then don't forget to hit the number five to get your points. This time I'll need all 10, right? I can do five and five, make 10. Whoops. That one's stuck. So sometimes boys and girls, it might freeze a little bit on you. If it freezes and it's not working, just hit next and it will clear your board to try again. So this one's one, two, three. There we go. Now it's back on track. So if it ever sticks or it doesn't work, just hit next and it'll just skip that one and go to the next one. So again, boys and girls, you're trying to do about five or six in each of these five games. I'm gonna show you the last game, it's called add. So they're giving you a number sentence to add. And again, if you didn't hear them, just point and they'll read it to you. So first I have to build nine. See down here it says move nine. So I'm gonna do five. Watch this trick. I'm gonna do five and five is 10. And then I'm gonna click, take one away. I say done. Now it tells me to move two, one, two, done. So I'm gonna take from the bottom boys and girls, I'm gonna drag to the top. I have 10 plus one more, that would be 11. So again, I do two, done. Now I do six, done. Now I'm combining them. This time I'm gonna come down because there's less to move if I go down. And now I'm gonna figure out what two plus six is. Here's the seven. Done. Here's the three. And now I'm gonna combine. So I'm gonna move these up. And I have, oops, I dropped it. There we go. I have seven plus three. Seven plus three is 10. So I hit the one and the zero. I think I forgot that step in the last one, boys and girls. <clears throat> So don't hit next until you're ready for the next problem. Okay, so let me do one more of these. So I wanna move eight, so I'm gonna do five, six, seven, eight, I hit done. Now four, one, two, three, four, done. Now combine them, so I'm gonna push these two up. So I have 10 plus two, I'm gonna say done. And then I put in my answer, which is 12. Okay, I think I, I made a mistake on that last one. And I wasn't pressing done. All right, you get the idea of add and then play all boys and girls is a, a combination game. And again, you're gonna do five or six of each one of these. So including the play all. So sometimes in play all, they'll, they'll ask you how many. 
How many are empty? Or they'll ask you to build or fill or add. So play all is a combination of all of them. So there's really four games and then the fifth one is play all. So once you're done playing that, boys and girls, you've, you've got six turns here, six numbers in each of the games, you can close it and go to slide number six and see if you can answer the questions. It says, drag the red circle over the game that was the easiest for you. So here are your games, how many, build, fill, add, and play all. If you thought how many was the easiest, you drag your circle on top of how many. If you thought fill was the easiest, you would drag your circle over fill. So you decide which one you thought was the easiest, that's the red circle, and which game did you like the best? Well, I liked the add one because I thought that was fun. So I picked blue for the, my favorite. And then it says, keep going because there's something else on the next slide. In the next slide, you're going to make a text box by clicking and you're gonna answer this question. What made the add game different than the other games? Click the text box to type your answer. So all you do is click. When you see that blue box, you start typing. The ad game was different because, and then you tell me why, why was that game different than the other games? What made that one a little different than the other games you played? And then it says, when you're all finished, don't forget to turn in. And if you forget how to turn in, you can watch my little video, but I think by now, most of you know how to turn in. You simply close the activity because you're done with it, press view, and then turn in, okay? So boys and girls, I'm looking for three things this week. I'm looking for a score right here, your highest typing score of these two games. I am looking for two circles to be moved in here on the easiest game for you and the one you like the best. And I'm looking for a sentence to explain why the ad game was different than the other games in 10 frames, okay? So that is a busy day for you. I hope you have fun with that 10 frames game. It's a good math game. And I will see you again soon. Bye.